Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. In a commercial district of Hwasong City on February 15th, the Gyeonggi Do Market Revitalization Agency set up an SOS on-site consultation center and provided local small businesses with on-site financial consultation services in cooperation with the Gyeonggi Credit Guarantee Foundation and the Korea Inclusive Finance Agency. Services also included the provision of guidance on COVID-19 related support programs for small businesses. This on-site consultation center operated again at a public library in the city on February 22nd. The center will operate on a circulating basis throughout the 31 cities and counties of the province. As part of its efforts to support development of the artificial intelligence industry, Kyungi Province established the Artificial Intelligence Policy Consultant Team at an inauguration ceremony on February 19th. The ceremony was followed by a team meeting. Consisting of 10 specialists in the fields of law, R&D, personnel development and public administration, this team will undertake artificial intelligence policy advancement and related project planning for a period of two years. This team will also undertake project coordination and consultation for related provincial offices. Gyeonggi Province announced plans to prevent birds from crashing into transparent noise reduction walls along roadsides. These plans include trial operation of related projects, such as adding graphics to walls to ward off birds, as well as the recruitment of more than 100 volunteer monitors during February for participation in related measures. The province will also introduce related ordinances for the implementation and institutionalization of such measures. On February 25th, Gyeonggi Province held an international conference on basic housing. In his opening address, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung stated that current housing issues can only be resolved by eliminating speculative and panic-driven demand. He then offered the basic housing concept as a key to resolving such issues. Held online in a non-contact format and featuring a large number of local and international experts, this conference featured presentations on international public housing policy cases, including those of the Netherlands, Denmark and Singapore, as well as Gyeonggi Province's basic housing policy philosophy. This conference also coincided with the opening of a basic housing promotion hall. Gyeonggi Province will increase this year's local currency issuance to 2.8 trillion Korean won so as to better help backstreet commerce and small businesses. Gyeonggi's local currency programs will primarily focus on restoring public consumption, which has been negatively affected by COVID-19, with an annual discount rate increase to 10%. The province also plans to establish efficient local currency management systems through various initiatives, including the introduction of a quick payment platform for mobile users and the establishment of a common local currency management organization. On February 24th, the 350th Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session ended after an eight-day run after reviewing more than 80 items. Items passed during the session include basic income ordinance amendments, provincial reorganization plans, and a proposal regarding basic loans. All the items embody core policies of Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung. The passage of these items will help facilitate the administration's pursuit of these policies. A COVID-19 risk alert app that warns users if they have been potentially exposed to infection was developed in Gyeonggi Province. This app alerts users if their movements have coincided with those of confirmed COVID-19 carriers for more than 10 minutes. Those who receive alerts can then either seek testing or engage in self-quarantine, thereby reducing infection risks for others. This app can be downloaded free of charge from the App Store or Google Play. While the coverage of this app is currently limited to Gyeonggi Province, 
the province plans to expand coverage to include Seoul and Incheon. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.